Today I am sharing some items I am purging and why you should purge and declutter every so often. This is also part of the One Box Challenge by Rachel at Sweet and Simple Home. So I hope you enjoy watching this and definitely check out the playlist below. All right, so the first thing I've got is a bag of my old handles from my kitchen. So I put new um, handles and drawer pulls on and so these are things that I don't need to save so I'm gonna get rid of those the next thing are all these water bottles so I don't know why we have like 10 water bottles when there's two of us but I don't need all of these water bottles and plus things that you don't like or don't work why use them just have one or two things that you like other things I'm getting rid of are some kitchen items so you may have seen or may not have if you're new my um, drawer and cupboard organization and some things in my kitchen so different things like cookbooks that I have not even opened or looked at multiples of things um, spatulas that I don't like because gunk gets stuck in this area so I have a couple uh, two or three that I really like so I'm getting rid of these because if I don't like them again why keep them after seasonal decorating and you take those things down it's time to go through and declutter some of that too so things I haven't used in years or things I know I won't use in the future I'm going to either give them as gifts because this was never used or donate it or sell it like I said so um, seasonal decor is always good to go through every time you take that down so that you can uh, purge and buy new if you want or just use a more minimal aspect of that decorating seasonal clothing purge is always nice to do as well and since I'm a thrifter I often have quite a few clothes to get rid of so just different workout attire, dress clothes, and I got some new clothes for Christmas as gifts, so it's time to get rid of the older thrifted stuff and bring in the newer. So just like every six months or so, purge or every season, so your winter, spring, summer, and fall, go through your clothes and just decide what you want to wear, what you know you'll enjoy. That way you have more space in your closet as well. So that is some more of the things that are in my box. Well, I hope this was encouraging for you. Again, thank you, Rachel at Sweet and Simple Home for hosting this challenge. Go check out the rest of the One Box Challenge participants and um, hopefully everybody can feel encouraged to declutter and purge and fill a box of any size of items that you want to donate or no longer need in your house today. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button too so you can become part of my YouTube family and also hit all those notifications so you know every time I post a new video.